What is going on Java Minecraft players that like to play Java Minecraft on their Android using Amethyst and a controller? Today I'm going to show you how to configure your controller the best way I like to use it at least so that you get the best basically bang for your buck. That includes even using touchscreen because you can use your touchscreen plus a controller at the same time. So let me show you how to do this. So back home in your Amethyst launcher, you're going to click on the settings icon and go to control customization. Now you can click on edit custom controls and you can change your buttons in here. Now, if you're using a controller, you can get rid of things like your jump button. You can get rid of things like your third person if you want to, unless you want to have that on screen. Your debug menu, up to you. Chat menu, yeah, up to you, but I'm gonna show you buttons that I like to configure. Keyboard button, I like to keep that there just in case my keyboard doesn't want to open for me, but I can change it and I can change like the size. I can change the button opacity so that I know that it's there, but it's not there at the same time. I can go like this, maybe 6% so that I can see that the keyboard button's up there somewhere, but I don't want to see it when I click that GUI button. The tab button, I'm going to delete that. My mouse button, never use the mouse, that's just my preference. And all of these buttons right here, because we're gonna be using a joystick and all that fun jazz, right? So you don't really need these. Now, if you wanna add extra buttons, you definitely can do so. Click on the settings icon in the top middle of the screen, add a button, add a joystick, add button drawer, all that fun stuff. And basically what you do with those buttons, you basically click on it and then you tell it what you want it to do. So button mapping, well, I want this to be zero for whatever reason. And then you can name it. That's basically it. So zero. <laughs> that's all you really need to do. That's all that's not really hard. You can change the stroke. You can change the corners to make the buttons look kind of cooler. You can change the stroke color, the different colors and all that kind of stuff as well. I don't really do this too much, but I do use the on-screen buttons for mostly just the keyboard and the debug menu when I really need to. Now for my button opacity for the debug menu, I'm going to do that as well. And I'm going to change the debug menu to be like up here, my keyboard up here and my GUI. I like to put my GUI like super big. So like this, and then I'm going to keep it in the bottom left hand side, but I changed the button opacity to completely gone. Now that's up to you. Now I like to do that just because I don't care to see it. And then I can go save and exit. Now for the actual controller itself, we're going to go down to where it says the change controller keybinds. There's two options here, one for keybinds while you're in the menu, one for in the game. Now for in menu, this is how I like to do it, up to you, this is what I do. When I press in my left joystick, I go like this and I'm going to do shift left. So shift left is the shift key on your keyboard and here it is right there. And the reason why when I'm in the menu and I want to make a stack of planks, for example, then I hold that shift button on your keyboard like you do on the computer and then I'm gonna click on it and then it'll make a stack of wooden planks. Now, in game, that's basically all I do for the in menu by the way. In game, I'm gonna change my D-pad. So my up, I'm gonna change my perspective. So that's gonna be F5. Now this is up to you how you wanna do it but that's how people play on Bedrock and that's how I play on Java as well. We don't talk about bedrock here. Now your down button, that's up to you what you do with that. And I'm gonna leave it just as O. My right button, that's gonna be opening up my chat menu, okay? And that's it, that's all I really do. That's not really hard and that's about it. Now let's go back into the game and I'm gonna show you this in action. Now you can still see very faintly, probably on screen, that GUI. So I'm clicking on the GUI to hide those buttons, but if I click on the keyboard, it'll open up the keyboard. And if I click back, it's gone. Now, why do you need that? Well, maybe when you create a new world, like I'm gonna do in a second here, go to single player and click on create new world. You're gonna wanna click that keyboard button because it won't work when you actually tap the actual edit text field up here. So this is gonna be moop. Okay, and hard, and maybe you wanna enter a seed. I don't know what seed I'm gonna enter, but I'm gonna enter a bunch of gibberish numbers and see what that happens. Now click create new world. I don't know if that's actually a seed by the way, but if it is, then great. Maybe we found something really sweet. All right, now I'm in the middle of a field. Let's let the game load in for a second because I just basically added shaders. If you wanna learn how to do that, then go watch the video linked below in the playlist. And I'm gonna punch this tree. So I'm gonna grab a couple logs and I'm gonna show you that those buttons work in action. Also, I can change my perspective. A lot of people like to do that, right? You like to do that? Yeah, no, yeah, woo. Look at my butt. All right, so let's click on the, the tree. 
And, oh, I want to open up the chat and say hello. Oh, hello. Now, you can't really see uh, your chat down there, but yeah, that's about it. Now, let's go to our menu and let's create a stack of logs. So how do we do that? Well, when I go over to my quick menu, I hold down my shift left, which is my left joystick, which is L3. I can press A and it'll actually grab all of those. And then now I can get all those logs all in one go or those planks. That's about it. Have a nice day. Enjoy your control customizations and your touch screen at the same time, because I love the fact that we can use the touch at the same time. And it's very, very much accurate. Honestly, it's really great. You can use touch, you can use your controller and you can be a boss while playing Java Minecraft on your Android device. Don't forget to check out my playlist about Java Minecraft with Amethyst in the description of the video. I'm gonna go enjoy playing Java Minecraft on my Android device now because I just filmed seven videos in one go.